Dr Denise Wood, lecturer, School of Media, Creative Arts and Social Inquiry, Curtin University, shares her UDL story. How did you approach your course design using UDL? The first step that I took to implement UDL was basically to understand what it is and what kind of help was available to be able to implement UDL. So some of the first steps was to go to training sessions that the university offered and also to seek out different um, organisations that offered um, you know, ways in which you can engage with UDL with step-by-step -step guides. So those were some of the first steps I took. What do you hope to achieve using UDL? So I hope to achieve several things, but the main thing would be to normalise universal design for learning as the way forward uh, so that students are used to the fact that they can access things in different format and things are accessible to them and that when they then become content producers themselves that they actually engage with universal design for learning principles in what they produce and also on a larger scale that you know material becomes accessible to students and to anybody who wants to access them um, without any barriers. What advice would you give others who are thinking about redesigning their course using a UDL approach? The advice I would give other educators is to start with little steps. Sometimes it can be overwhelming when you sort of do an audit of your work and realise all the areas that things need to be done. But you know, start with little things. Start with things that you are introducing that is new to your unit or to your learning content. Anything you can be accessible and then gradually working your way through. But yes, yeah, start with little steps and eventually you'll get there. I'm still trying to make my way through. This video was produced for the Universal Design for Learning and Tertiary Education e-learning resource. For more information, visit www.disabilityawareness.com.au.